Today, we're going to Irazu Volcano. And I actually decided to do some planning today so I could avoid what happened last time when I tried to see Poas Volcano, which uh, did not end up in my favor. So I actually did some research. But this time, um, I was told there's a bus that leaves here, leaves San Jose at eight in the morning, and then there's a bus that returns at 12.30 in the afternoon. And that's the only way you can get there. There's one bus. Um, that was false. Ended up going to four bus stops in total, and now I'm on the way to a town called Cartago. The weather is 30 degrees today, and it is sunny with some clouds, so fingers crossed that it doesn't <laughs> rain, because there is a 60% chance, but that's literally every day of the week that I'm here. So, yeah, fingers crossed. I am now in Cartago, and I just left the uh, bus terminal right there back behind me, and I was told I have to go up this street, turn right for four blocks, and then turn left, 50 meters and I should see a bunch of little red, yellow and uh, white buses. I think today just might be my lucky day. I see some red, yellow and white buses. So let's see if this is it. Uh, disculpe. Estás ir a Irazú Nacional Parque. El primero. El primero. El primer bus, sí. Sí. Se va este el otro. Okay. Gracias. Adelante el primero. Ah, sí, el 12. Yo no hice bus que era blanco. ¿Tienes otro otro parada? No, esta, eh. Solo aquí. Ahí para, pero acá sí, pues para ir a su para ahí. Okay, se necesita espera aquí. Sí, ahí le dice buses. Buses Tierra Blanca Cot. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so that was um, those were the buses, but they left as I was asking <laughs> if this is the correct bus. So now I just gotta wait at this little sign that says buses Tierra Blanca Cot, and that's it. No more, no more misleading information. Follow my info, and you're good to go. <laughs> or don't. Okay, so I'm still waiting for the bus and it is now 10 in the morning, um, but it is not looking too great. Clouds are rolling in. I'm guessing that's where the National Park is, considering that's the high point here. And it could be over there. Who knows? Yeah, it's still worth the shot. Okay, so I just waited 45 minutes to be told that the bus doesn't come until 12 o'clock. <sighs> Could have taken a taxi. Now I think it might be too late. I honestly don't know what to do anymore. Okay, so my options were to take the bus to San Antonio, which is a half hour away from here, which is closer to the Volcano National Park, or take a taxi. I wanted to take it. I wanted to take a taxi, but there are four different stops that appear, and I can't find out which one it is, and each one is like significantly different in cost. Um, so yeah, I figured I may as well just take the bus and uh, see where this takes me, and probably just take a taxi from there at that point, because there might be more information. I'm not really finding information online or with the locals, so just pushing my luck now. <laughs> but uh, I think I think we're getting there. It should be decent, at least on a cloudy day, like the view of the crater as well should be a decent uh, view. It just might be a little bit darker, which is perfectly fine. Um, as long as it's still visible, I'm happy, which is what I saw online, but I don't trust anything online anymore. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what actually happens. Okay, so the, the bus just dropped me off um, and he said, just walk down this road and I'll get to the town that I need to go to. I'm <laughs> literally in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. It's beautiful up here. I just hope it actually leads somewhere. The views are gorgeous. I'm not very uh, hopeful that we'll find a vehicle to take me up <laughs> from here. So this might just be a bus simulator video. <laughs> okay, um, I think we're screwed. This is just, I think it means farm. This place looks like a giant farm for cows. There's a historic center in Cafeteria 350 meters away, but... <laughs> I, don't, 
I don't even know <laughs> what to think right now. <laughs> Look at this. I need to be up there. That's where I gotta go. Okay, so I was told by a security guard over there for whatever this place is that the bus to Irazu was actually at the crossroads that I was just at where I got dropped off. Um, it comes at 12 o'clock right now, it's 11.50. So I gotta get there as soon as possible or that's it, I'm going back home. There's hope, there's hope. There is still hope. Okay, so I spoke to the bus driver over there. Really nice guy. And uh, he said, the bus will come at 12.40 to take you up to the, uh, to the volcano. And that's, uh, that's 40 minutes from now, exactly. So I figured I'll try my like, luck at hitchhiking. And uh, who knows? may pay off but I think this might have to be a second attempt adventure because today is just not my it's not my day although it's still beautiful up here I'm loving it and still hot as hell despite how high we are clouds ah, I don't know man like at this point, it's like, why not? So, I'm gonna hitchhike. <laughs> My last attempt at hitchhiking, complete failure in the rain. So at least it's not raining. Got that on my side. There's the truck approaching. Will this be my day? Please. I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, man. Please, 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 please. <laughs> no. He even went like this. Just don't even regard me at that point. <sighs> Check this out, though. He pulled a Yui, and I was like, oh my god, he's coming back for me. Honked at me and kept on driving. <laughs> Why the tease? Why? So much hope. I also don't have any more water. I got a half bag of chips. Of spicy. Not Doritos. Manchitos, I think they're called. So good. I don't know what I need. I hear a motorcycle coming. I'm going to attempt it. Buckets. Oh, dirt bike. Please. Please. <laughs> no. Some signs that say the volcano. Maybe it's just a viewpoint. But there's signs of life. Nothing, nothing there. And uh, no one that's continuing up the mountain. <laughs> Another 20 minutes and I'll, uh, I'll turn back. It's only 12.20 right now. I hear a vehicle coming. It sounds like a big one. Oh, a truck. Truckers are nice, right? Especially here in the mountains of Costa Rica. <sighs> please God, please. He looked away. So, um, I just came up on a fox, coming right up this hill, stared at me, and now he's somewhere in there. Oh boy. And it's starting to rain, and I can hear thunder. Oh, there he is. See the top of his head right there. I don't know if that's a fox or a coyote, but it's alone. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, thank God. 
he saw me and started running towards me and turned. <sighs> yeah, yeah, no, that's a fox. I think. <laughs> Big fox. <laughs> what a relief. On the upside, coyotes normally attack only if they're in groups, unless they're like deranged. So, we'd probably be okay. Such a nice animal though. This bus is coming down, maybe they can take me. I had one chance to catch the bus to come back home, and this guy over here just helped me out. <laughs> um, there was uh, another bus coming, but he said it would be back in four hours. So I was going to be walking for the next 25 kilometers with no hope of anything. Nobody uh, picked me up for hitchhiking, so that's it. I, uh, I admit my defeat. <laughs> one thing I learned is uh, hitchhiking does not work. I tried it the other day, tried it today. Nada. So, back home we go.